New this morning, a teenager is dead after a rollover in the Southern Valley. The North Dakota Highway Patrol says a 16-year-old boy was driving on a Sargent County Road number 4 just north of Cogswell around 9.30 last night when his car hit a deer and then rolled multiple times in the ditch. State troopers say the teen was thrown from his vehicle during the rollover. The victim's name and hometown are not being released at this time. Another accident last night sent a 19-year-old to the hospital with serious injuries. This one happened on a gravel road about five miles north of Jamestown. State troopers say the victim was driving a dirt bike when he hit the ditch and then hit an embankment, which caused him to go airborne. The teen was tossed from the bike and had to be airlifted to a Fargo hospital. There's no word on his condition either. The National Guard is being called in to help with mass testing for the coronavirus at the Cass County Jail today. Every inmate and staff member will be tested. Jail administrators say this is a preventative measure and that right now there are no known positive COVID-19 cases with staff or inmates inside the facility. The testing will establish a baseline and help with future restructuring of the general population to make room for new inmates coming into the facility who will need to be isolated. Meanwhile, North Dakota officials are reporting a total of 44 deaths in the state linked to the virus. 37 deaths are due to the virus. Four are patients who died with the virus. And three death records are still pending. North Dakota has 31 new positive cases, 26 of them in Cass County. The state considers 712 cases as active, with over 1,200 patients listed as recovered. Minnesota is reporting nine new deaths linked to the virus, bringing the state's total to 731. Health officials also report another 705 positive cases, pushing Minnesota's total over 16,000. Nearly 11,000 patients are listed as no longer needing isolation. Now 5.03 on our Tuesday morning. We'll take a look right there. Beautiful moon in the background as the sun is just starting to come up. To see if we can expect another beautiful day like we had the other day, let's check in with First Alert Storm Team meteorologist Lisa Green. Good morning, Lisa. Good morning. Yes, I wanted to show you that crescent moon. It's just a little sliver there uh, just off the uh, the eastern horizon here this morning. And of course, we've got that beautiful glow too as the sun is starting to come up here for today. So just looking really gorgeous. Temperatures are really comfortable as we're starting off our forecast here for our Tuesday as well. So here's a look at those numbers. We are into the 40s and 50s right now. It's 53 degrees in Fargo. It's 49 in Green. Grand Forks. It's 50 in Valley City and in Detroit Lakes and a couple of the cool spots mid 40s 45 in Vedette and 45 in Oaks right now but everybody uh, at least in the 40s that's great to see to start off the day today. Wind speeds are getting to be a little more brisk here this morning after taking a break last night we've got a gust in Fargo to 25 miles per hour. Wind overall out of the southeast yet again today. And we're looking at some clouds, a few clouds out to the west. But overall, again, more of a mostly sunny day. So here's a look at that planner. Expect to see that sunrise at 547. Temperatures will be back again on the rise into the upper 70s, approaching that 80 degree mark. Now in our hourly planner here, it's actually every two hours. And I'm thinking we could see 80 degrees somewhere between that 4 and 6 o'clock time frame here in Fargo. And if we do get there... It would be the first time this year. So we're going to talk more about that. Take a look at the rest of the week ahead, too, coming up in your forecast. All right, crossing my fingers, we do. Thank you, Lisa. Firefighters in Brainerd, Minnesota, are blaming a fire at the City Hall on something to do with a construction project there. Take a look. About a dozen employees were evacuated around noon yesterday when the fire started on the roof. Most of the city staff are working at home because of COVID-19. There's no word yet on the full extent of the damages. The FDA is warning that the drug hydroxychloroquine should only be used by COVID-19 patients being monitored in a hospital. This reminder comes after President Donald Trump surprised attendees at a White House event yesterday by announcing that he is taking the medication. Hydroxychloroquine is an anti-malarial drug that's often used to treat lupus and rheumatoid disease. The drug is an unproven treatment for COVID-19 that the president has heavily promoted despite an FDA warning that taking it outside a hospital setting can lead to serious heart problems. But the president claims he is receiving letters and calls attesting to the drug's effectiveness in preventing contracting the virus. 
North Dakota is going to use $750,000 of federal coronavirus aid to live stream legislative committee hearings at the Capitol ahead of next year's legislative session to ensure remote participation amid the COVID-19 outbreak. A legislative committee approved, or yesterday rather, voted to fund the project, which includes enhancing web conferencing among lawmakers. Minnesota's stay-at-home order has expired and non-essential businesses like retail stores and Main Street businesses reopened the other day under new restrictions. But some businesses in the state remain closed. Bars, restaurants and salons have to wait until June 1st. Valley News team's Katie Opperly hears from a restaurant and bar owner who says it is worth waiting. Minnesota Governor Tim Walz has set a timeline for businesses to reopen. For restaurants and bars like Hub 41 and Brig in Detroit Lakes, they have to wait until June 1st. We like to say we've become pros at curbside, um, but it would definitely be nice to serve people on plates rather than in the to-go boxes um, and, and see our guests again. The governor said that companies like these must wait to reopen as they are coming into direct contact with people through service. If we get the go ahead for June 1st, we are going to be ready to go on June 1st, you know, and following the safety procedures and um, social distancing, um, sanitation, you know, everything that goes in with it on opening. Hunter says they will not be reopening until the state announces that they are able. I think safety is first and foremost but before opening your doors. Businesses that go against Governor Walz's order can face criminal charges that carry fines up to $3,000 and prison time. And it doesn't stop there. Some business owners who announced plans to open ahead of schedule now face a lawsuit from Attorney General Keith Ellison, who's seeking penalties of up to $25,000. Many bars and restaurants we spoke with that did not want to go on camera said while they wish they could open earlier, it's not worth the repercussions. In Detroit Lakes, Katie Opperly, Valley News Live. To read those current guidelines for Minnesota, just find this story on the VNL News app. 700 soldiers from the Minnesota National Guard are making plans for deployment to the Horn of Africa this summer. It's part of Operation Enduring Freedom. The 135th Infantry includes folks from Fargo, Grand Forks, and Brainerd. The soldiers are expected back in the States in the spring of 2021. Right here is that B-52 bomber from the Minot Air Force Base flying over Fargo in honor of frontline health care workers during this coronavirus pandemic. The Warbirds aerial salute buzzed Sanford Health in Fargo yesterday. Staff members plus dozens of onlookers were lined up along 23rd Avenue South and they watched as the B-52 flew over the hospital. The pilot, and the, the pilot rather, and the crew then headed to Grand Forks before heading back to Minot. Coming up here on the Valley today, we're getting a look at how one Fargo couple is celebrating their love with more than 100 others in the era of social distancing. But next, I love this weather that we had the other day. It was just beautiful. Can we expect another day like that? Lisa Green explains right after this.